Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Cook, Serve, Delicious 2. I don't actually know too much about uh, this game. Okay, so this is news. We don't care about that. Uh, I don't know much about the Cook, Serve, Delicious games. Uh, the first one just passed me by completely. It just didn't look so like something I was interested in. And honestly, I was originally going to pass on this, but the uh, the developer or the people associated with the, the PR uh, for this game were super nice and sent me a copy, and I figured I should probably at the very least take a look at it. Uh, so all I know is I have to make food. Player options. Single player, yes. Player two, chef. Okay, so what can I be? Is there something that... Who is the best, best dude? I must be the best dude. We'll go with that guy. He looks really just quite unhappy with life. And that's fine. Food catalog. Neat. I don't understand any of it. Designer. What's any of this? Oh. Yep, nope, no idea how any of that works. Alright, let's do a let's do campaign tower. Welcome to the campaign. This is an all-new campaign where you can run your own cook serve delicious restaurant or work in other restaurants across the tower. Nail perfect orders, complete bonus objectives within CSD or uh or earn bronze, silver, gold medals in other restaurants to earn yum points. Earn enough yum points and you'll be you'll level up. Every fifth rank earns you a half star. Get a full five-star restaurant to be the best chef in the tower. Good luck. Oh, and be sure to try the tutorials. There are a lot of new features in the game. Where are the tutorials? Is that this? Tutorials. There we go. Okay, let's do the basics. Well, this is nice and snappy, and apparently the whole thing was made in Game Maker, which is really impressive. Welcome to Cook, Serve, Delicious 2. This is a test kitchen where we can practice a bit. To your left are the prep stations. More orders appear as customers arrive. Enough talk, let's cook. Select the order by pressing up on the D-pad and pressing the X button when the order is highlighted. Okay. Hold down the left trigger, then press the button of the ingredient you need that's listed on the recipe. Okay, so we got queso, jalapenos, and beans. Surf. Okay. Great work. Let's make more complex food. Okay, so meat patty. I have begun cooking. Oh, I have to cook. Okay, the meat is cooking. The white timer indicates how long the food is left to cook. Once it turns blue, the food is ready to be prepared, uh, prepped again. Select the order once it turns blue. Don't prep too early. Okay. So now that we've done that, ingredients have color boxes on the left, uh, uh, left of them to easily show what page they're on. So, patty, bacon, lettuce. Okay. So, meat patty, bacon, lettuce, Swiss cheese, fried, fried egg. What? How do I how do I switch? Oh, there we go. Fried egg and a pretzel bun. Serve. Depending on how accurate your ingredient placement was, and if the food was fully cooked, you will receive a perfect, average or bad rating. Always strive for a perfect rating. It will bring in more customers, income, and bonuses at the end of the day. An average rating doesn't hurt or help you, and a bad rating will de decrease customers. Press A to continue. On the top of the screen, you'll find the holding stations. Holding stations are the key to making things much easier for you when a huge amount of customers walk through the door. In fact, if you don't use, utilize them, the game will become quite difficult and sometimes impossible. Try accepting the order on the left. You'll notice you cannot select this food. It has a red HS icon, meaning that it must be prepared in a holding station before you can serve it. Let's do that now. Select holding station 1 by pressing left on the D-pad and then highlighting it. Okay. Holding station prep. Select a food to prep. Each page has a different category of food. Holding station requires foods. Holding station... I don't know. Select the pretzel and follow the recipe. The recipe will be completely random each time you make a food in the holding station. So pay close attention to, the, uh, to make sure it's done correctly. Okay, so we want to do classic pretzel and cook. The pretzels are now cooking. Just like hamburger, we must wait until the food is finished cooking before we select it again. Holding stations are fully automatic. So once the food is done, okay, the pretzels are now in the holding station and are ready to serve. Try selecting the pretzel, pretzel order in the prep station. Order completed. One serving has been deducted from the holding station. Oh, you still have three more left to serve to anyone coming in wanting pretzels. 
The food will decrease in freshness as the day progresses. Once the clock runs out next to the serving number, the food must be thrown away. Certain foods stay fresher longer than others. All holding station orders must be cooked perfectly, they c or they cannot be served. Try serving these next three orders. See how fast you can serve customers with holding stations? They're great! You've learned the very basics of the game. However, there are still items such as side dishes, chores, drinks, and holding station optional foods. Oh boy. I... Okay. You know, instead of doing the tutorial any more than this, I think maybe... Well, it says less than a minute and less than 20 seconds. Let's do it. Oh, jeez. There's a lot, though. Oh, I see. These are just things that I can read. Okay, cool. Let's do HS optional foods. I'm not entirely sure if I should be just doing the tutorial or just diving right in, but this is okay. Holding station optional foods are orders that can either be prepped uh, in a prep station or made ahead of time in a holding station. Start by selecting the order on the left and then prep it. Okay, so chicken nuggets. So we want to do nuggets. And then dunk. And cook. Food is now cooking, can be served when finished. Serve the order when ready. Okay, easy enough. But we can get ahead by making this food beforehand. Select holding station one, then turn the page to the holding station optional foods, select chicken nuggets and prepare it. Oh, I see, I make a bunch of them. Then I dunk. Okay, let's wait until the nuggets are fully cooked and ready to serve. Okay, you now have several chicken nugget orders ready in advance. This is great for pre-rush hour moments when you feel something. As you can see, you can serve a lot of orders faster this way, but beware, HS optional foods take up space that might be better used for side dishes or more holding station required foods. It will be up to you to find that perfect balance with each menu. Good luck. All right, well, that's a little bit faster. And side dishes, 20 seconds. Customers won't wait for the orders for very long. As you can see, this order that has arrived is quickly going off screen. Uh, it will be completely counted as a bad order. You can see how long the customer's patience meter is measured in the seconds. To increase their patience, we must make side dishes. Select holding station one and turn the page. Okay, sorry. Lettuce, carrots, tomatoes, croutons, cucumbers. Hold. Every unique side dish in your holding station adds 15 seconds to the patience meter. You can have up to three unique sides on your menu, which can give you a possible 45 extra seconds of patience. This is a huge. This is huge when you have a large influx of customers. They will always order a random available side dish with their meal, which also increases your income. You should always try and have at least one side dish in your holding station. This is an easy way to prevent walkouts and bad orders. Okay. And then the last two are... Drinks and Delicious. Drinks allow you to add extra income. And I'd have to refill it. Okay, chores. Every entree has its own set of unique boosters and detractors, most of which deal with the game's chores. Some foods are overly trashy, resulting in large amount of trash chores per day, while others are relatively clean, making room for that many more food orders. By failing to do a chore, you earn a sick rating, which decreases your buzz by a much larger margin than a bad order would. Buzz. Every time you pull off a perfect or delicious order, your buzz increases. Buzz determines how many customers per hour you will receive in a day. Buzz can fluctuate throughout the shift for many reasons, gotcha, and cool moves. Keyboard users, gamepad, okay. I can do tricks. I don't know if I want to do tricks. Let's do one of these. So we could do infinite or let's do max wieners. One standard shift. I don't know. This is probably going to go badly. This game seems like one of those where you have to juggle quite a lot. Okay, complete the day with fewer than eight, five, or no. And rewards. Gotcha. Well, what can we do? Pretzel? Classel. Classic cook and corn dogs. Corn dog clothes cook. 
I might as well prep some of these for a good reason. Okay. I don't know how long she's willing to wait. Okay. Uh, she wants ketchup and mustard. Surf. Okay, so you want a wiener? Cook. Okay, uh, I've already got that. That is cooking. I don't entirely understand how the patience meter works, but that's okay. So we want queso, sour cream, and jalapenos. Oh. I surf. Okay, uh, so we gotta do regular bun, cheese, relish, and mustard. Surf. Okay, what's this? Oh, I gotta flush, sanitize, finish. Okay. We gotta do no ketchup or mustard, and ketchup. Nope. I messed up. Pressed the wrong thing. Okay, wiener cook. Yeah, this is not going to be a, uh... This is not going to be a... ...game that I'm going to, uh, be... ...playing past this, I believe. Okay, X. I just want a premium bun. Flush, sanitize, A. Okay, wiener, Y. Rush, hour. Oh, boy. Uh, so you just wants ketchup. Serve. Wants ketchup and mustard. Serve. Ketchup, mustard, serve. Ketchup, serve. Okay, yeah, so we want to do regular bun, cheese, relish, and mustard. Serve. Okay, that's a lot. Open basin. Ice fill seal ready. Okay, so queso, sour cream, how, okay, all of them. There we go. Wiener, go. Okay, so we want queso, sour cream, and beans serve. We want everything. Okay, mustard. We want premium bun and cheese. We want mustard, go. We want nothing, go. We want mustard, go. And we want nothing, go. Okay. Gotta flush, gotta sanitize, go. Gotta trash, mash, 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 sanitize, go. Gotta open basin fill, seal, go. Okay. Queso, jalapenos, beans, go. Okay. Uh, oh, we got rats. Lock set, cheese, sanitize, go. Uh, so we got corn dogs. We need more corn dogs. Okay, and we gotta have. Whoops. Uh, wiener, go. Her. Okay, so queso, jalapenos, beans, go. Uh, that's going. We need. We need some more pretzels. Okay, this is going wiener prep. I do not like this game. <laughs> oh man, this is uh, not something I'm particularly good at. Okay, oh, regular bun. Cheese. Relish. Mustard. Go. Okay. Gotta flush. Sanitize, go. Yep. Oh, shit. Uh... I don't like these games. This is too... too stressful for me. Luckily, uh... Queso. Jalapenos. Beans. Okay, wiener. Okay, you just want mustard. Okay, let's... Do pretzel, classic, cook. I don't have any pretzels. Okay, what's this? Load dishes, begin wash. Release, unload, sanitize, A. Wiener. Okay. Pretzel bun 
and uh, relish. Okay, wiener, cook. Still no pretzels. Oh, I, uh, shit. Corn dogs close a. Okay, we want premium bun, and then everything. Okay, I still don't have any of those. Premium bun. Serve. Okay. Queso. Sour cream and jalapenos. There we go. Corn dog. Nothing. And bug. Set. Sanitize. Go. I do not like these games. Okay, left trigger. Act. Let's see. I'll make this. Queso. Jalapenos. Beans. Okay. Pretzels. Classic. There we go. I gotta toss these. <sighs> I messed up. I- oh, gotta finish. Flush, sanitize, A. Okay, trash, mash, sanitize, A. And we want everything on this guy. Oh, we're almost done. Day complete. Alright, so we've served 50 people. 46 perfects, 3 bad, 1 average. And a 24 combo. Okay. 5 or fewer average or bad orders. I thought I did. Oh, I did. I just didn't get gold. Well, that's fine. Okay. I'm actually going to have to stop us there. I learned how to play, I played it, and I can safely say this is not a game for me. It is it is too, too much uh, for this poor little Wanderbot to handle. It's, it's a neat game. I like the idea of it, but it's the kind of thing that is going to drive me insane if I try and play it. And that was, that was like the easiest possible level that we could have done, and there's no way, there's no way I'm going to be able to play more than that. It is just, I can't, I can't juggle that many balls. I can't juggle at all, I never learned. I had friends that could juggle. I could, I, they could do contact juggling, they could juggle like anything from pins to knives, and I'd watch them and I'd be like, that seems like a skill that I never am interested in learning. And therefore, I'm, I'm just not interested in learning this game. Maybe there, maybe there are ways to, to get this to work, uh, to, you know, not be so frustrating. Uh, and, like, actually get used to it, but right now, I think I just prefer calmer, uh, and less, less, uh, everything is on fire panic mode game. I mean, obviously, I guess I could have actually done a lot worse. I did fairly well there, but, oh boy, yeah, just, it's too much, I don't have the hand-eye coordination for that. So, I like this game a lot, it just came out on Steam, uh, -huh. I like it from, like, kind of an I admire that it exists, but I never want to play it. Um, but it's cool. And I'd recommend it if you guys thought that looked fun. It's 13 bucks. That's not much. And it's made by a fairly good developer. And it's local co-op, which is kind of a neat idea. I could actually see this game possibly being, well, possible uh, with, a, with a friend helping you out. Either way, if you guys like this one-off episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And, uh, well, if you want to see more indie games in general, I play a lot of them. Uh, not a whole lot of cooking ones, though, for obvious reasons. Uh, but yeah, so I guess with this, I'll see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.